uh, Walmart has a, a Juneteenth. Um, they had a Juneteenth ice cream that they that they released under their brand called it was called Juneteenth Great ice cream. Uh, yeah. But it came under their brand of Great Value. If you've been to Walmart, you know the Great Value brand is Walmart's brand. Um, but they had a Juneteenth ice cream, and apparently, this ice cream was so offensive that Walmart decided to take it off the shelves, calling for us to 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 ask the question. You know, when you're talking about commercializing off of Juneteenth, like what is the boundary when you commercialize off of Juneteenth? Now. Here's the thing about this ice cream. Take a look at that. Look at this. Look, look at this, y'all. Y'all see that? They apologize for selling Juneteenth ice cream, but I let me let me just say that that um, did we not say that this was going to happen? The moment Juneteenth became an official federal holiday, did we not say? We're gonna to start to see some wild stuff happening. Now, y'all probably thought that this was gonna happen on a on a on a hey, Keenan, please show this, show this again. Just just, just show show a little picture again. This is Walmart. I just wanted you to show this ice cream tub again. What is this? Uh half a gallon? No, this is what a pint. A pint, yeah, a pint. This is the pint of the Juneteenth ice cream. And I'm not saying, and I'm not saying it to be funny. I'm I'm bringing this up because we're, as we get closer to the holiday, we're going to see a lot of people. Look at this. Look at this. I want to, I want to just hold a picture there on the side. Y'all can read the side, share and celebrate African-American culture, emancipation and enduring hope by eating mm. ice cream. Yeah, see, here's here's the thing on this because I've a All lot right, of people go been, <laughs> been going through this on social media, and I've been saying it. And that's why I sent it to you because I've seen people post this, and there's like two sides of the spectrum. Yes, for the longest time, people have been pushing for this to be a federal holiday. It became a federal holiday. Once you make it a federal holiday, it becomes fair game. So my thing is, you need to be careful of what you want or what you're asking for. And this is why I always say up front, be sure what you're asking for. Just like the 4th of July and all of these other holidays that have become federal holidays, even like the commercialization of Christmas and Easter. And you no, know, Easter is not, I don't think it's a federal holiday, but you get my point. They, it's, becomes commercialized and they're going to sell it. And that is what capitalism is. And I think unfortunately, <clears throat> when we wanted more people to celebrate it and you want more people to see it, this is what's going to happen. It's so, gonna be sold in Walmart. So people are saying, do we get a kickback from that? Like do, do, do black folks get something as a result of this ice cream being sold? Like shit. If 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 say if Walmart saying we're now introducing Juneteenth ice cream where we are supporting you know <laughs> black young people black youth <laughs> would it make a difference would it would it be a different conversation no if Walmart said the proceeds of our Juneteenth ice cream will go to to black youth and and teaching them STEM would I'm, that make a difference Iman I'm it's it could make a difference, but I'm 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 trying trying to understand the concept of the ice cream. Like, let's say they have Fourth of July ice cream. They'll have vanilla ice cream with like blue, red, and white sprinkles in it. So what 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 does Juneteenth ice cream look like? Is it a bunch of double chocolate with extra no. chocolate chips and just black? It's red. Is it? No, let me let me let me let me, let me let's 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 like what is this? Now. Actually, the flavors might actually be good. Let me just share it. It's a, it's a. <laughs> like the concept of just what the Juneteenth tastes I, like. Like what? Let me tell you. What would Juneteenth like be composed of? To, to Juneteenth share, is composed of a swirl breakfast. of red velvet and cheesecake. That's what this ice cream flavor is. Red velvet and cheesecake. So a lot of people were upset by that too because they said it should have been butter pecan or maybe vanilla because oh, you know God. that was created by. <laughs> they were so they were hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what is 
closest thing that black people have. What do we have with butter, butter pecan? pecan. <laughs> I love some damn butter pecan. I hate butter pecan. Do you? We, do you? Yes, I do. Yeah, I'm not a butter pecan. I, 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 I know I'm going to lose my... I know people be like... Oh. <laughs> anyway, every time you think about a black person, be like, yo, you give me some of that butter pecan. Be like... Mm -hmm. I'm taking this butter it. pecan in there, ice cream. Like, come on, bro. Every... But it has some historical meaning to it. So maybe they should have got black people to when they did this. Maybe they should have had more black people in the room. Honestly, I don't think that would have made a difference. I think some people would have just been upset just in general to see this commercialized. But then again, the people in, you know, in, in Texas where this thing, it became a, a big thing, wanted to see this. So who am I to say that you shouldn't celebrate it on a mass scale? This is what they wanted. Yeah, who's, who's like I, I can say I'm 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 not I I can't find offense in this. Like it's like really? okay, why I understand it being commercialized suddenly and celebrated suddenly because the federal holiday that could be offensive, but like I'm not mad at the concept of creating ice cream celebration of Juneteenth. Like I I'm trying to figure out where where to be upset at. Like I'm well here's the where thing. Am I here's the thing. Like I, I think here for me, I think the the offense is if this is supposed to be this is a this is not just a holiday of of ritual. This is like a holiday of historical. It's like a historical moment, right? This is right. this is a major quote unquote a major time in American history. Correct. Where you're talking about the last of our people who have been enslaved mm -hmm. are finally free. That's a, his, that's a significant moment, right? Correct. According to the American history. So... What we ask for, though. Like, we ask we, for... We, we ask for freedom, not ice cream. The <laughs> That's right. But we <laughs> ask for to celebrate it on a bigger scale. Like, if we start seeing Juneteenth flags and how, how they commercialized uh, 4th of July... But the 4th of July is not the quote unquote a black holiday. It's not. Right, right, right. right. So, for example, like if we saw, and I mean, we see this, I think we see this with Black History Month. I think companies have gotten a lot better in celebrating Black History Month. But if you saw a company be like, hey, come down to your local mattress discounter where we got that Black History mattress just for you. And you, and mate, <laughs> while you're at it, you're going to make some black babies. You'd be like, what the hell? We got the dashiki sheets in the back for you. <laughs> Dashikis and you know what I'm saying? And then, you know. I don't think this, this to me doesn't. So the reason why, because if good people in Galveston, Texas, they celebrated this on a, a mass scale there. They really wanted more people to celebrate it. That's why this was pushed for a federal holiday. This was, this goal to push was created and started by black people. So who am I to say that no? Now, should Walmart have said, hey, let me find a black... Now, they do have other drink ice cream in Walmart, let me be clear, that actually is made by a black ice cream maker. But you know how Walmart does. They always got had a name brand, and then they got to have Grey Valley. Mm -hmm. Right. So I guess they was given, if you don't have, it was so, given so, so, the so, so pennies. Ben and Jerry's didn't do it. So Walmart said, hey, Ben and Jerry's, y'all can't do it. Y'all can't bribe us. Y'all can't do it. Turkey Hill. Y'all can't do it. All right, bump it then. We got it. Now look, let me. Janine checked in. Look, I don't like Janine sometimes because she always thinks she's funny. Uh, Go ahead, Janine. Janine said it gotta be strawberry chocolate and mint chocolate chip, red, black, and green. Janine, please stop. <laughs> that combo. <laughs> See, that's what I'm Jean, thinking. It's going to be like red, black, and this you going Look, red, this you going to post. Hey, Butter Pecan from Turkey Hill is the is the shit. Take his black card. No. It is. No. That, <laughs> listen, you don't eat. I'm going to take Janine, it, Jenny. No. I'm going to take it. Give it to me. I need your mail by Saturday. No one I need likes it. Butter, pe butter Pecan. No, no, nobody. Nobody. Mm -hmm. No, we black. It's Butter Pecan. No. no. <laughs> here's, the thing. here's the thing. What I think is going to be the problem is that it opens the door. So if you have Juneteenth ice cream, then what's happening yeah, people being like, hey, we know black people love sweet tea, Juneteenth sweet tea. 
It's not, I'm glad it wasn't watermelon. Now, if it was watermelon, no, I would have been no, like, no, 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 so if somebody said we're having a Juneteenth holiday, you know, sale and, and watermelon and chicken is on sale. No, that's a lot. Just, just a little bit. Just, that's offensive. Yeah. That's, it, that's, that, that, that's offensive. If, if, let me ask you this question. Let me ask you this question. From. If a black stop or if a black store were to have a Juneteenth sale, like a black food market. And I don't know, they might be very, you know, they're not in too many black food markets, but black food markets say, hey, we got a June team sale. Would that be, would that make a difference? I think a black market at June team sale? Yeah. Uh, I don't see, because like I said, I'm on the other side of it. If we, this is what we, we kind of asked for, like the people who wanted this to be mainstream, this is what we got. And there actually is, when I was looking, there actually is Hanukkah ice cream. They just be, that's capitalism. I'm so sorry. I said it in the comments. They, she says they stay appropriating our culture. There's no Hanukkah Passover ice cream. Unfortunately, capitalism is terrible. Like they're going to capitalize. Oh, no, no, no. It's, not, it's not just terrible. But black folks, our struggle has always been diminished and we become the butt of the joke. We do. I, I, I do agree with that. I do agree with that, that a lot of the times the things that come out for us, it seems rushed or not, we were not consulted. So then the stuff comes out and it's like, well, this doesn't really stand for, because if they were going to do it, at least talk to the people in Galveston and say, what flavor should this have been? What flavor are the flavors in the foods that you eat on Juneteenth? What are the, like, I think they should have done that and gone above and beyond. You know instead of saying, John, yeah, but to, to, at least to your point, I don't think we should have any type of uh, uh, um, uh, cookouts on Juneteenth. I don't think we should make it like that. There's Why? No, huh? What should, what should really? we should have? I think I think Juneteenth is probably one of the very few holidays where we don't have to quote unquote go into celebration mode, but we should be in education mode. We we should oh, be oh, like okay. our okay. babies about the transatlantic slave. They don't know about slavery. They don't trust and who, believe. Who I, don't know about slavery? Now, I'm you talking about in mass. I think it's I think it's the perfect opportunity to be like, all right, y'all. July Fourth, we always celebrating Memorial Day. We celebrating birthdays. We celebrate for two years straight. You know what I mean? Depending on who birthday it is. Um, that is facts. You feel you feel what I'm saying? Like we always in celebration mode. And I'm part of me is just like, yo, we don't have to celebrate. Let's celebrate. Let's celebrate by teaching these babies. These babies really don't know about the transatlantic slave trade. And and I think oh, some of them don't. The service by allowing this to be like, yeah, what we celebrating, mommy? What we celebrating, daddy? We we were we you know shit. Black people were free, and it's like they have no connection. But that's what Juneteenth is, though. Like th it was a celebration. celebration. They did. They that's what it was. After was they Jun they it, it it was a celebration. I know. Go ahead, Iman. Go ahead. <laughs> I say we can do both. We not both, both. It can be a celebration because that's what it was originally. Juneteenth was a celebration. Now we all aware that we are free. Uh, we are now uh, everybody's gotten the news that we're free. Okay, cool. But I do understand your point as far as educate as far as education because children, especially I want to say middle school down to pre K kindergarten, they don't they don't get the same dose of what slavery was that we did or um Jim Crow that we did it's much softer now it's an ice cream version it's the Juneteenth ice cream version of what slavery actually was um that we knew of and we were taught so I understand both perspectives but um make it make a celebration and eat I found yeah, out a black man eating macaroni saying. and cheese uh like two weeks ago so I say yeah. celebrate and eat yeah but my thinking is we we always celebrating, and I get it. I'm trust and believe. I'm not I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade here or anybody's mm -hmm. picnic. But I'm just saying, when do we start educating? You know what I'm saying? Like 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 what holiday outside of Black History Month? Right. Most of us are not black children. They know February is Black History Month. But if we want to drive home the point that mm -hmm. Black History is every day of the year. And then this holiday comes around, then it's like, okay, because uh, uh, 
Case in point, when Memorial Day comes around, do we talk about black soldiers? No, most likely we don't. We just see it as a day off. When 4th of July right. come around, do we talk about Christmas addicts? No. Some of us probably don't even know who Christmas addicts are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like we not, we not if 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 these major holidays come around, this could be just a this is revolutionary. I'm thinking that when these major holidays come around for the country, that is also an opportunity for us to have some different conversations with our children and with each other. I mean, out of all the things, all of the ways that we can kind of like this country is saying, okay. Juneteenth, the end of slavery, uh, uh, of chattel slavery and all of these things. Like our level, it should be a day where we really edify the ancestors. We It should be a day where we really educate. And I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to say we, there's no celebration in that, but right. one, this was like two years after right. the institution right. was officially <laughs> over, right? Right. So, So a lot of our people were still left in that situation. And it's like, really, do, what are we celebrating when we didn't even get all of our people to know that the institution was over? There's nothing to celebrate. It was like, damn, it's you know what I mean? That, that's how I get. It's like two years later, like damn, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. But I don't know. Like I, I just just like if the only thing that we could enforce America to do is to give us little trinkets like ice cream or discounts or deals or stuff like that. Like we will never be taken seriously as a people. Like we got to force and to ask for America to dem and, and demand and say, look, like this is an institution that you brought us in. Therefore, don't try to, you know, our reparation is 30% off of a cup of coffee or, you know what I'm saying? Some ice cream. It's like, Y'all, y'all need to do some real celebration. Like, like for example, are we going to expect it to see like in Baltimore? Of course, you know we have the Afram and the celebration of African American mm -hmm. history and, and culture and those things. But when you ask Black people what is Black culture, what is Black history, then the, the, it's just like a thousand different answers, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, it's like we're still not on the same page about certain things that has happened to our people. And I, I think that just needs to be emphasized. That's all. I agree with education. I, I agree that we need to do more education. I agree with you. Juneteenth, Juneteenth can be the start that we finally all get on the same page, at least for a holiday. I agree. I agree. Yeah. Like Kwanzaa, I see more Black people finally getting into the, the, the celebration of Kwanzaa. Now, I feel like that's a great celebration. You yes. know what I mean? When We're going you right down, now, right? down those principles and those things, like those are great celebration. Uh, but for this, it's like it's a sad, it was a somber moment. You know what I mean? Like, look how long it took for us to even get an acknowledgement of that moment. They took to President Biden and then look at what actually happened. It's like it's a very somber moment. It's like, wow, man, our people, some of our people are still left behind in that institution years after it was officially over right. and i don't know like it's just juneteenth rings different for me it's not it's not like fourth of july it's not like any other holiday it's like man well, we like, that, that was, that's a really sad situation say it again we celebrate weird things here because the push was because christopher columbus had a day we all know what christopher columbus then did and so they were saying, if you can make that a federal holiday, why not Juneteenth? And this is what we got. What you get on Christopher Columbus Day, you get discounts, you get deals. And yeah. then, so maybe we made it less valuable by making it to, you know, a federal holiday. I don't know, but this is what a lot of people were pushing for. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, infamous Kiki, I guess Infamous Kiki, you in Texas, because she's saying that um, we have Juneteenth sales in Texas. Y'all killing me. We going to the parade on the 18th and the club know, that's right. bar crawl. Okay. Y'all killing me dead. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Do your thing. Do your thing. thing. Celebrate. The good people of Galveston, Texas over there. That's where we need to go, least. That's where we need to be at, least. That's where we I need to be. So. With okay. the Cowboys and June the Cowboys. bar crawl. Why not? You know some white people going to be up in the Wouldn't bar. It? Look, I'm look, like, look, yeah, look. I'm celebrating Juneteenth bar crawl. Two dollar shots of Henny. Two dollar shots of Hennessy. 
that's probably what's that's right. That's right. That's right. He deserved joy. I think Black people deserve joy. Let's, right. deserve, let's, people let's, deserve joy. let's, so let's celebrate good. our people by getting out of <laughs> our minds. All right. <laughs> Get intoxicated. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Woo! <laughs> All right. Um, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. <laughs> We welcome you to the launch of the Mass Poor People's Low Wage Assembly and Mara March on Washington, D.C., June 18, 2022. We are a new, unsettling force, and we are powerful, a new, unsettling force, and we are here. We're rising up to demonstrate the compelling power that we, poor and low income people, have to reconstruct society from the bottom up. And we need to do it with the loudest voices possible, the biggest actions possible. Because we know that there is no scarcity in this land. The only scarcity is the moral will to do what's right. those with sub-minimum wage jobs who can't afford sky-high rent. People with disabilities are the fastest growing minority group. It's crazy to me that in 2021, it's still legal for workplaces to pay a sub-minimum wage to people with disabilities. There are still so much trial and tribulations that we go through as indigenous people. We can't get a decent wage to sustain ourselves, nor can we get adequate housing. Veterans across this nation say enough is enough. We can't pat essential workers on the back on one day and then cut their health care the next day. Health is a political choice. What more do I need to do to prove that my voice is just as valuable as anyone else's? There are still forces in denial that would try to slow walk our transition to a clean economy and a just future for us all. We have an immoral system run by immoral people. But together we walk, and we walk and we fight. It's time for a change. Reconstruyamos esta gran nación. See, we are people of resilience as we fight these interlocking injustices together. When we work together, mobilize together, and rise together, we become a voice for the voiceless, and we become an agent of change in a time where great change is needed. We need the third reconstruction to ensure that deaf people, people with disabilities, and all people can have the right to live and to thrive. We know what they are doing, but the question is, what are we going to do? Reconstruction begins when we change our mentality and say it's time for you to get your foot off of my neck. Oh!